So a package just arrived and I'm so excited that I don't even care that I don't have makeup and my hair hasn't been washed in like a week. If it's the package that I think it is, I am very excited to share it with you. Let's see, let's see. Oh, this is smaller than I thought. It's here. I'm gonna put it in the garage. What's up everybody? It's a Sunday. I'm on my way to the office. There's a situation in the office that's in dire need of being remedied. I'm gonna show you what the situation is once we arrive. Made it to the office. Right, so if you've watched the therapist office tour video that I posted over the summer, then you've seen this before. Please don't judge me. So this is the situation on our quote unquote white rug. So back in 2016, I made the transition from subletting an office one day a week in San Jose to moving to a full-time office in San Jose. And that meant that I needed to fully furnish the office from scratch. Now, back in those days, I didn't have a huge amount of profits to put back into my business. So I capped my budget for furnishing my office at a thousand dollars. Now a thousand dollars might sound like a lot of money, but if you need to furnish an entire office, it can disappear really quickly. So it was back in 2016 that I bought this white rug. In the grand scheme of things, it's lived a good life, but it's been a few years since it's actually been white. So I got a new rug. Someone commented on my office tour video that it might be wise to get an indoor outdoor rug. So thank you. I'll flash that little comment up somewhere around here. That's what we ended up doing here. And it's also not white. So the hope is it will last for a bit longer than four years. Now you might be thinking, Marie, how are you making an entire video out of just laying out a rug? But here's the thing. Once you change one thing, it kind of snowballs into a bigger project. I'm gonna take you along. Now I didn't really think about how this might be much easier with two people, so we'll see how this goes. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really eager to just roll out the new rug, but I should probably vacuum. Now for the tricky part. I'm liking this rug. All right, let's kind of put everything back and see what it looks like. I like it. What do you think? So I don't know if you all are like this, but once I change one thing, I kind of have this urge to change everything. I'm grateful for my office colleague who said, let's just start with a couple of things, let it sit for a bit, and then we can always change other things. But for now, there are two more things to swap from this picture. All right, so we swapped out these blue pillows, which could match, but I don't know if the patterns get along. So we got these plain blue pillows. And also I've had this fuzzy blanket on the couch for a while, I wash it. But I finished knitting this blanket. Can I just show this off for a second? Look at all the cables. I just finished knitting this blanket last December and I started working on it in the fall of 2015. I can't believe it took me that long to finish, but this is the most advanced knitting project I've ever undertaken and completed. And now that I'm seeing it all together, I'm not actually confident that that's better than the fuzzy blanket. My colleague that I share an office with has a really good eye for this type of thing. So I'm gonna leave my fuzzy blanket here and I'm gonna let her decide whether the knit blanket or the fuzzy blanket works better. But feel free to let me know in the comments what you think or it could be something totally different as well. Here's the problem. I would love now to swap out also my white fluffy pillows. I have that one here and I have another one buried under on my therapist chair. I'm also thinking about getting rid of the green items in the office, which is this tray that I got from Goodwill and this green planter, which I also got from Goodwill. There's another situation that I really need to address. 
can we just talk about how sad this little corner is? This plant is still alive. This air plant is dead and this one is half dead. We're gonna need to do something about that. So I think I'm gonna end this video here and restrain myself from placing all the things in the office all at once. Let this sit. Let me know in the comments if you have any feedback because I've listened to some of your tips and they're really good. I thought it might be nice to bring you along for the journey because I always like to see what other therapists do with their offices and it always feels like such a private thing, but does it need to be? Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, I will see you later. Today's video is brought to you by therapynotes.com. Therapy Notes helps with scheduling, notes, and billing so that you can spend more time with your clients and less time on back office paperwork. Click the link in the description of this video to get two months to try it for free with no commitment.